get them started. Okay. Hey. Gosh, you know, I'm video recording on my laptop. I know you guys haven't seen me. You make sure you guys can see me because I don't know why the pixels in this this video. I'm watching videos of myself. Sorry for making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to get some good light going here. Something. Yeah, I got all this. Okay. But y'all was hearing was I me mean, some old videos that um that um I was watching. I know you guys haven't seen me in a long time, but how y'all doing? Hi everybody. Uh I've been like when the last time I posted a video? Ooh. Been a year or so, I think. Yeah, they have. And some of y'all probably been like, whatever happened to the lady that does I'm still doing everything, doing shows, uh, doing little sneak peek shows in my collection. It's been so much that's been going on with me. Um, first and foremost, I'm still designing. I'm still crocheting. I'm still running my boutique. Um, I'm doing little mini sneak peek fashion shows at a mall. Um... I tried to do a huge show in August, but I had to get rid of some models that wasn't uh, right for my collection, or they was just too, they was late all the time with uh, coming to the rehearsals, so I had to let them go. So I started out with 30 models, now I got, what, seven, six, seven, something like that. Anyway, but those are my top models. But um, I've been doing a lot of work, uh, alterations work, which that's for a lot of my business uh is about alterations and custom design right well i can show you some stuff if you want what i've been working on with customers right now just so it won't be boring with me just standing here talking and i can be talking while i'm showing you stuff i got a whole lot of fabric and stuff in the back now so i have tons and tons of fabric so that fabric and it's more and all the way across this wall all the way across this wall it is a hell of a lot more so if you guys want to follow me while i'm doing is the light better i don't know i don't know where the light is better at and i'm not trying to make you guys dizzy but i am right the light is good right there pretty good right there but knowing me i'm gonna put you right here <laughs> i don't want to drop my laptop because i have done that in the past if it's not too dark uh, my tablet, I dropped and shattered the screen, and I'm not doing with this one. This one, um, can y'all see me? It's so freaking dark right there. Uh, I don't want to put you no place where you can't see me because I want to show you. I'm over here by the ironing board. I don't think I hate recording on my, um, on my tab, my, not my tablet, my. Um, laptop so I'm working on this for a customer right she already ordered three of the this is the third one let me show you the one I'm replicating from the other one that she brought back and she wanted me to make some more this was I made two of them of these she's from Dubai so they wear these but just the front. They were, you see my label my labels in all of my clothing now uh, says so like unique fashion. So, replicate this is kind of long. So I did another one, but she be bringing me these are long scarves that she be bringing me that she wants me to turn into these. Uh, I don't know what they're called from her country, but it's long and has a little shimmy. This is on the wrong side. I just was ironing and I had to hem the sleeve. She's picking it up tomorrow. Uh. It wasn't enough fabric uh, to make it the length of the, the turquoise one. So I had to um, add the fabric. And I should have charged them more for piecing together the fabric. So I got my label on inside. Here we go. I have to hem the sleeves. And it's long. You see where I had to add the panel? I had to add this panel. In. 
because it would have been way too short so it's a little longer than if she wanted shorter i could shorten it but i kind of like it like this this length it's a little longer than original just a little bit so i had a piece together and then i had to add the trim at the bottom because she wanted that from the original so this is that and i got him this and i'm gonna iron it and i'll be ready for tomorrow she wants this is what she wants she wants uh this elastic this this is a sample dress you said this elastic is here she wants this elastic like this added to this part i don't want it on her because it makes her tummy it gives her tummy make her she has a big tummy and it makes her tummy look bigger I don't like it like that, but that's what she wants. I, I talked her out of doing the other ones like that one, but she says she wants this one. So she, I'm going to measure the elastic where she wanted across a bus, and I'll put it on tomorrow. That's not going to take any time, even though it's extra with me adding elastic. Um, I have a set price for her already, and she's leaving out of the country for five, five months. So these are actually going to go up 40 more dollars, what I'm charging her. You know, so she brought the fabric. It's, no, it's just one, two, three, four panels. So it's so easy to make. And But I had to do the patchwork. I should have charged her way more. But, you know, she's a regular. And I'm going to just do that. It's cute. I'm going to make some more of these. A cute little free flow uh, dress top thing. They're just cute and just free. You know, so it's very nice. I like the print and stuff. So that's what I'm working on. I'm also working on, uh, I was kind of cold. That's why I got all these layers and stuff. Because it snowed yesterday here in Minnesota. Today is uh, October the 14th. I, I leave out of here like, what, uh, four in the morning because I work really late here. And it was snowing. I was like, oh my God, it's so snowing outside. So I'm working on that, and what else I got to show you? Uh, I'm working on, oh, I'm working on these cardigans. I don't have a sample of the cardigans that I'm doing, but I got this pile of stuff over here. When I do do the card, when I finish the cardigans, I'm going to show you. There's like some cute uh, long sleeve hooded cardigans. So I got a pile of, I got a customer that, already I custom I replicated three of them already if I can show you on my phone let's swing over here since this is a long video since you guys haven't seen me in a while let me swing over here sorry about if I'm making you dizzy let me swing over here so you can see me walk over here and I'm gonna grab my phone because it's in my phone right it was clear when I pulled balls away right okay so what I'm gonna do is so dark right there. Okay, sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy because I'm losing my laptop. Okay, I'm gonna show you in my glasses, wherever my glasses is. I did have glasses on when I started. Okay, let me get my glasses, I'll be right back, okay? And I'll show you everything that I've been working on. And if I pull up these pictures in my phone, which I need a new phone. I need to upgrade this doggone phone. Let me show you the dresses while I'm in this phone that I designed. Can you guys see these dresses? Jesus. We're trying to get a good light so you can see. Oh, there we go. You see my dresses that I designed for prom season next year? I have two boutiques that's going to be buying these. This was our fashion show last weekend that we did. And... That's the back of the dresses, if you can see, I guess. But anyway, I'll show you the video. Oh, that's one of my, gosh. it's the glare pull back. Can you see? I don't like this laptop. I really don't. But that's my knitted dress. That's me, my cat suit. I took my heels off, but that's, we did that the week before. So let me show you, oh, here we go. If you can see, that's what I'm making. You see those hoodie cardigans? 
that's exactly what I'm making for a customer. I made that one for her. I made three. She wants two more. That's the original, the black one, and I made the white one. I made a tan one. God, what was the other color? I made three. I can't remember all three colors. But um, making more of those. Yeah, they don't take that long to make either. Okay. That's what I'm making for her. So she really like them. And I'm supposed to make a dark blue one. Matter of fact, it was a white cream and a gray. It was white cream and a gray. She wanted a dark blue one, like a midnight blue one, and a uh, light blue one next. So, and I'm, I cut out a whole lot of patterns because I'm going to be making those. I'm actually going to be making more of these also, but I'm going to make this same pattern. I'm going to make some with a high low. I'm going to make some with the high in the uh, asymmetrical drop. I'm going to make some just got a, like, short on this side and then drop down in a square it's going to be the same pattern but it's going to be variations of the cut of the bottom of the cut of it so that's going to be fun doing um, if i have time tonight i'll cut out those patterns tonight but that's what i'm working on with those i did i got orders for those for prom dresses the next year from two boutiques i'm converting my store into a factory still alterations boutique and a factory so stuff the stuff that I can items that I can mass produce by myself I'm okay with just two pieces or four pieces but other stuff that I it's like blazers or have a lot more pieces to it I will have contract source come in on certain days hire some of them to come in I'm, I'm ordering three I'm buying three more industrial sewing machines I found some on a Facebook marketplace that I'm going to be purchasing in the next month or so I'm bringing a somebody to come here and help me organize the back room better, reorgan, remodel the whole back room, right? And reorganize everything so it could look like a mini factory back here. And the front boutique is uh, going to be sample clothes and stuff that's going to be, I got to have like, um, sorry, I got some stuff in my teeth. Some stuff that um, is going to be sample stuff. Then I'm going to get my magazine together and my online store. I got to have all this stuff by December. So I don't have that much time. And I'm doing a um, a trunk show at the mall for my 2023 20, stuff that I'm going to have selling in my uh, factory. Uh, it's going to be wholesale, of course, because I'm, I'm turning to a factory. Everything going to be wholesale. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, I do have stuff on the hook that I'm working on, but mm, I'll show you the guys another time. I'm just trying to give you a quick update on everything that I've been doing. Stuff I'm working with customers. Oh, I'm making a memory blanket, but they call it angel blanket too. So I had one customer that brought me in a whole bunch of t-shirts from her husband that passed away and it's a gift. It's going to be a queen size blanket. I got cut out all these pictures that's on these t-shirts. I'm actually going to use some of the t-shirts backing also to go around the border. I have to put those, each border, each picture is going to go on back of 100% uh, cotton, black cotton. I think I got some stuff back there or some type of heavier jersey knit. That's going to be sewn on that, piece together, sewn on that. And then I'll probably use some of the t-shirts as borders going around. I'm going to use as much as the rest of the t-shirt as possible to save myself fabric. And I I don't know if I'm going to do an interfacing. I'm not interfacing, but a batting inside of it. I will see once I uh, see the weight of it after I piece it all together. It might not even be batting, have to be inside of it, you know. So that's kind of expensive to do a queen size. I have always wanted to do one. I do memory bears. Uh, if you guys want me to shoot some of the memory bears out, I will shoot some of them pictures out of the memory bears. So um, let me see what else. What else, darling? Um, that I've been working on. Just a lot of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Who else watch me? I know you guys thought that I just totally forgot about you guys. I haven't is just that I haven't been having internet here at the shop I have it uh, at home or in my ex house I'll go to his house and do stuff so um, you know because some stuff I just had to eliminate here because I have my 
my overhead is so high so I kind of don't have internet for my laptop here truth be told er ever since the pandemic it was like a lot of stuff I had to just say okay what do you want what do you need and what, do, what can you eliminate so I eliminate like stuff like that here I use my phone my phone uh, a lot of times to do videos or whatever I don't use my laptop like that um, sometimes like now I use it uh, to record and then of course place like a Wi-Fi and then I uh, shoot out videos but I'm doing it now I'm gonna shoot out you guys some old videos too okay so that I recorded and never shot them out okay so y'all gonna get some old videos that's supposed to send off back to back like from two years ago a year ago whatever you know so I'm gonna shoot out all those videos then this is gonna be a video to enter this this video is gonna introduce you to all the videos that's coming right after that and I hope you guys interested enough to watch the video but I have had a lot of stuff that went on with me I don't want to be dragging stuff on and on and on but this is Christine this is what I've been doing and um, everything that's been going on in my shop, everything that's going on with me, I'm well. My shop is doing good. I'm doing a, a lot of stuff about me. I'm just focused on my shop, branding myself, flipping this over into a factory because I do mass produce a lot of stuff. And I was like, you know, the money's in factory. You know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of people that come to me and they order stuff online and don't look like nothing that they ordered. And they want me to replicate what they want it to look like, what should should have looked like. So I was like, you know, that's where the money's at, you know. So I've been doing these pop up shops. I'm deep, well, not pop up shops. The uh, uh, little sneak peek fashion shows at the mall to get people familiar with House of La Unique, which the name is going to be changed to House of La Unique. It's La Unique Boutique right now, but it's going to be changed House of La Unique uh, Manufactory. And alteration service no so boom that's what that's gonna be <sighs> that's it for now so uh, I hope some of you guys still uh, are watching me the lady that does everything you know so share this video or share the other videos that if you want anybody to know information about me, if you want to know more information about my factory, if you want to know information about my shows here in Minnesota, those of you who live in Minnesota, you know, if you know somebody in Minnesota, look, uh, I will shoot out some videos of the things that I will load into my laptop and shoot it out to show you some of the videos that I, stuff I have been doing, some pictures or whatever of some of the shows that I've been doing, some of the practices, uh, when I was practicing the rehearsal, I have a video of that. When I had all the fabulous girls, but they wasn't a fit for a like, unique brand. So, I have six left. Six, seven, something like that. Uh, so, and two on call. So, about eight-ish, eight, ten, something like that. Uh, so, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? If you have any questions about anything that I do, just send me uh, a message and I'll answer it you know, as soon as I can. Okay, thank you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.